Hey guys, it's Shiraz of Royal LePage Dynamic here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Just another video, this one talking about real estate commissions. Just gonna break it down briefly. I'm here in my home office, once again, with my plant and my Voss water. This isn't real Voss water, guys. I actually just fill it up with regular tap water. So if any of my friends and my family ever come by, yeah, it's just tap water. Um, so real estate commissions, let's get started. Um, First and first most, there's no set or standard fee or percentage of commission in the city or anywhere that I've actually heard of. So over the past eight years, I've come to terms that the normal and average commission is between four and 6% in the city of Winnipeg, okay? No standard fee, that's usually the average. So if a realtor is quoting you out between that, very normal. Um, so best example, that I want to break down, your, your home sells for $400,000. You're paying 4% commission. Total commission is $16,000 on that property. $8,000 goes to the buyer's agent. $8,000 goes to the seller's agent. So guys, if you're watching this and you're represented by a buyer's agent, as in you're a buyer, you pay zero fees to your realtor. Okay? That's the best thing about being a buyer you pay zero fees to your realtor there's no losses when you're using a buyer's representation of a realtor when you're purchasing a home so on that note give me a call if you're a buyer and not represented by an agent because i'd love to help you out got a team on standby um, we can work with you we show you all the houses we lo we're looking after your best interest so keep that in mind so that's a pretty basic breakdown now, sellers, you're probably wondering, hey, Stras, what if my seller sells the house himself? In Winnipeg, that is called a double end. At times, majority of the time, they would take the full commission, right? So house sells for 400,000, 4% commission, 16,000, 16,000 goes to the sellers, to the seller's agent. At times, including myself on the original listing agreement, I do take less commission myself uh, if that certain situation occurs. In some cities, they've banned um, double ending. They believe that a buyer and a seller should have different representation, which actually, to be honest, I agree with. But not going to get into the politics of that. Now, you're probably wondering, damn, you guys made $16,000 on this deal. Trust me, it's not that much money. You may see it that way, but there are plenty and plenty of real estate fees that we pay it'll blow your mind from expenses to marketing to our brokerage fees which are stupid high in winnipeg for some odd reason um to gas etc it does add up a lot of people don't know this but even on the mls when a listing from goes from act to sold we pay money for that little switch so I learned that the hard way my first year of real estate a long, long time ago. Realtors need to be selling two or three houses a month in order to see a return. It's not as easy as people think. Now, with the new agents out there that are probably watching this, definitely keep your expenses low at first um, and always, always spend the money in marketing yourself, including your seller's home. The reason it's important to spend money on marketing your seller's home which is what i do which is why my commission always there's always a certain part going back into marketing the reason being is one i love marketing two you want to show your sellers that you're selling and marketing across the city to other realtors to potential buyers but not only that you pick up a lot of buyers that aren't represented represented the more money you spend on marketing the more money the return comes so if new agents are watching this uh, take that advice, spend the money on marketing, read some marketing books. Um, one of my favorite authors, Seth Godin, is a king in marketing. I've read every book of his and learned marketing and keep up to date with YouTube and what's happening in the real estate market uh, because it's not easy anymore to just throw it on the MLS and expect the house to sell. Uh, now, you're probably asking, Shiraz, what's your fee? Um, my fee ranges okay, from 4%. To six to seven to eight percent it all depends on the house it all depends 
uh, on the condition. It depends if it's vacant. It depends if there's tenants in there. It depends if the tenants are giving me a hard time in our own meth. There's a lot of different, uh, it's all dependent on per property, okay? It also depends on condos. At times, I have to pay for the condo documents. Um, at times, a house is going to take longer to market. Uh, you know, at, at times, it might be less commission because I sold it off uh, off the MLS on an exclusive listing, which uh, occurs at times. So, please give me a call. Um, leave your comment down or in the comments, and uh, I'll reach out to you, and we could set up a time for me to come view your home and take it from there. But at the same time, like I said, this is just more of an educational video, kind of explain the breakdown on the commission. So if you're a buyer, you pay zero commissions to your realtor. If you're a seller, you're paying all the commission. Uh, but just don't think that all that commission goes into the seller's agent's pocket because it definitely does not. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. Probably do another video in a week or two. Take care.